why? Of way. All the way. All the way. You will immediately charge the weapon and put it back on safe. On the M3, you have to put your eye into the eye cup. Three, you will sound off with the words on the way and pull the trigger on the Y of way. On the way. Cal, hey, geez, what's your response? Loading some cow. Do it. Right hand, right hand only. Open up that venturi. <clears throat> Use both hands to insert the round properly. Once the round is flush with the tube, put your left hand in the gunner's lower back. Right hand only. Open up that venturi. Use both hands to insert the round properly. Once the round is flush with the tube, your left hand will go in the gunner's lower back. My name is Staff Sergeant Scott Davis with HHC 197th in the U.S. Weapons Committee. Today we covered shoulder launch munitions, specifically the M1, in, excuse me, the M3 and the M3 Echo 1 Carl Gustav. The Carl Gustav is a multi-purpose, anti-armor, anti-personnel weapon system. Uh, today we went over specifications and components of both weapon systems before we got each of the trainees hands-on experience with the system. Once they all got hands-on, they all fired one training round before 11 of them were chosen to fire 10 TPT rounds or target practice tracer rounds, as well as one HEDP, that's high explosive dual purpose. The main benefit of this training is gonna be for when these soldiers do finally get to the line and they're introduced to these or reintroduced to these weapon systems, it won't be their first time seeing it. They'll be able to effectively pick up on the training that they're given on the line to employ these weapon systems against light, medium, or heavy armored vehicles.